Hey guys, Prepper Nurse One here. Um, today is the 4th of March. Um, actually, <laughs> this is going to sound crazy to some of you, but it was probably the nicest day we've had in quite a while. It actually hit 36 degrees today, and some of the snow is finally starting to melt. It has just been, we've gotten so much snow, and it's just stayed cold, so it never melted. So um, it actually started melting today, which is freaking awesome. And, uh, but, um, This little girl here, she is, uh, oh, she loves attention. She's like the lovingest cat. And she's funny, she's the boss of all the other cats, which I never would have thought, because she's so mellow with humans, but she kicks a snot out of everybody else in the house. So, and wherever I am, she generally is not that far behind. So, she's a good girl, I like her. Um, anyway, but, uh, so it got up to 36 today, and, uh, the snow was actually starting to freaking melt, which was awesome, and, uh, I was working on, uh, my driveway, working on clearing that out, so I, it cleared out the bottom part of the driveway, and then I started working on the top, and then the plows came by again and buried in the bottom of the driveway a second time, so it was, that was very pleasant. I think there's something in there, right? Okay. Um... So, yeah, that was fun. and uh, But then I had a buddy of mine call me, and uh, he had to leave the work and had realized that uh, the plows had gone through again and buried the end of his driveway. So um, he worked 3 to 11, and his wife was coming home at about 6.30 or so. And uh, he says, hey, could you do me a favor? And I said, sure, why? He says, could you go over and dig out the bottom of the driveway for me? You know, he goes, I'll give you 10 bucks. And I'm like, listen. You're not giving me anything. I'll just go and do it. So when the kids got home, I went over. And it's not like the snow that you just use a snow shovel and get it out. I had to use a regular shovel that you like you use to dig a hole. A regular shovel to get all underneath, to get all the ice and crap up. It's just, and that's how my driveway was too. Um, you know, I was using a spade. Um, so it was just, it's brutal. I mean, it's, it's brutal, brutal work trying to get that cleaned up. But... So I got that squared away, so when she got home, she was able to get right in, which was good. Um, so yeah, it's just, uh, it was really pleasant today. It was really enjoyable, and it sounds crazy that 36 degrees would be pleasant and enjoyable, but it really, really was. Um, I had to go and get uh, blood work done for uh, the new job today, so that got done. So they go in and they check your blood for, make sure you've had, I, they check, they're testing for, uh, Measles, mumps, rubella, I think, something like that. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I had the PPD done, which they put here, which you see nothing there because it's already gone. It was gone the first day. And if you have a reaction to it, it blows up. So obviously I got, I'm good with that. I have to go get that checked tomorrow. So I have to go back into the, there tomorrow to get that checked. Um, but uh, I'm excited to start the new job, start on the 23rd. Uh, just trying to kill the time between... You know, then and now, I got 19 days um, for that. And then, um, you know, like I've told you guys before, I go to court on the house on the 18th. So um, I'll know more where I stand then. And I'll do a video on that and let you guys know how that all went. But uh, just wanted to sit down and give you guys like a heads up of, you know, nothing really exciting today. It was just actually it was a real pleasant day. And it was nice to actually get outside and do some work. Um, I've watched myself in the last couple videos and uh, I'm pretty disgusted with the way I look because of this freaking belly. So um, I've decided I'm going to do something about that. And uh, so I've really cut down on, uh, you know, taking in all the crap. See, my problem is I have a sweet tooth, so I love my sweets. But uh, the type of winter that we've had, you're just, it's a real sedentary type of winter. You can't really get out because it was so bitter cold for the whole month of February. It was ridiculous. We set the record... The average temperature, average temperature for the month of February was 12.2. Um, we had a ton of sub-zero days, and it was just, it was, it was the coldest, um, actually coldest month on record ever in this region. But it was also the coldest February ever. Um, we broke the old record, which was set in 1934. I think I told you guys that. We also happened to have the fourth snowiest February on record. 
Um, we ended up with like 45 and a half inches, which is almost half of our yearly average. We average about 100 inches of snow a year up in this area. So just in the month of February, we ended up with 45 inches, and it never melted. So, you know, actually with some of it melting, today is awesome. I'm going to have a cold night tonight, they said, and tomorrow is going to be a high of 15. Um, but then after that, I think Friday they're talking 25, they're talking low 30s on Saturday. And then we start getting into next week, and we actually got some 40s coming. So I am really, really looking forward to that. Um, I plan on taking a trip down to the property soon because I haven't been down there in at least five or six weeks. So I definitely want to get down to the property and just give you guys a tour and just show you what it's looking like right now because I'm sure it's buried. But uh, So that's it right now. I just want to give you guys a quick update um, you know, and uh, just let you know what was going on. Um, and I'm just like so happy that it was a nice day of 36 today. It was really, really nice. And to get outside and do something was awesome. You know, just some physical labor was great. So um, I will talk to you guys later. Prepper Nurse went out for now.